how does it work? To get to the holiday destinations, Poles take ultramodern jets, but in the winter we generally use whatever fuel is available. In winter there is a very little fresh air to breathe in many small towns in Poland. Smoke and combustion gases choke the air. This poor quality air may cause diseases of the respiratory tracts and can be highly carcinogenic. This pollution simply poisons us and our environment. Every year around 100,000 single family houses are built in Poland. Each of them requires heating and hot water. Last year around 350,000 heat pumps were sold in the European Union, while in Poland only 3,200 units were installed. We decided to visit a new built house in the village of Guzowatka near the town Warsaw. It has a floor area of 140 square meters and is located on a plot of more than 1,500 square meters. The house will be heated by a heat pump with a power output of 14 kilowatts. As far as I know, there is the only one other heat pump installed in the neighborhood. Thus, our project will be one of the first in the locality. There will be a small garden and playground above the installation of the ground collector. A horizontal ground collector is put at a depth of 1.8 meters. This consists of a standard PE pipe. The temperature is around 4 degrees of Celsius at that depth. What you can see here is the area of the horizontal collector. Usually the area of the horizontal collector is 3.5 to 4 times greater than the heated area of the house. Those pipes contain a 30% glycol solution. The capacity of the collector is approximately 700 liters. Here we can see polyethylene pipes of a 40 mm diameter. Those are the pipes through which the heat is taken from the ground. The life cycle of such a pipe is more than 100 years. The ground source manifold connects those five pipes, which are spread all over the collector area, with one pipe from and one returning to the heat pump. Of the total energy required to heat the house, three quarters will be the solar energy accumulated in the ground. The remaining one quarter energy will be supplied by electricity. The total cost of the installation for a house of the area of 140 square meters is 35,000 zlotys. When compared with an installation fueled by natural gas, operating costs of a heat pump are approximately 50% lower. Before we decide to install a horizontal collector, the ground must be tested and its type identified. If the soil is sandy and dry, then it could be disqualified because its energy resources are insignificant. The best type of soil is waterlogged clay soil or sandy boggy soil. Now we are in the factory in the town of Grodzisk Mazowiecki near Warsaw, where heat pumps are manufactured. The basic principle of the heat pump is based on three cycles. The glycol mixture travels via this pipe to the circulating pump and then it gets to an exchanger called the evaporator. In the evaporator the glycol mixture, which is already warm, having a temperature of around 4 degrees of Celsius, heats the refrigerant, which through those pipes and gaseous form enters the compressor. The compressor greatly increases the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant. On the leaving the compressor, the temperature of the refrigerant is from 60 to 90 degrees of centigrade. The high temperature refrigerant now enters the second stage heat exchanger known as a condenser, where it gives up its heat to the radiators under floor heating or domestic hot water. The key elements for a heat pump. Here we can see a complete ensemble heat pump. Those are heat exchangers. This is the compressor, of course the circulating pumps. A filter which maintains the quality of the refrigerant. And the expansion valve which regulates the pressure and the temperature of the refrigerant in order to maintain the constant cycle. This is why we often call it the heart of the heat pump. The next very important process which guarantees the quality of the heat pump is the leak test. 
After the inspection, when the tests have been passed, we dry, remove humidity and create a vacuum in a future refrigerant circuit. You can see the operator fill the system with an appropriate type of the refrigerant. The refrigerant is to be hermetically sealed so that it cannot escape to the atmosphere. This tank holds domestic hot water. It's a typical tank we use and contains 180 liters. Tanks that we use for heat pumps are made of stainless steel. Generally speaking, the life cycle of our pumps is more than 20 years. The functional test is the main element in examining of the heat pump. During such a test, we adjust each parameter of the pump and make sure that all components used here meet quality and energy saving requirements. In the pump, despite the fact that it generates heat, the majority of the processes operate at temperature close to or below zero degrees of Celsius. And that is why one of the factors we have to eliminate is the vapor condensation effect on the pipes. As regards the automatic control device, uh, it's clear that it's a steering element here. There is also a soft start and contactor which protect the compressor's electrical circuit from damage. When the whole manufacturing process is over, those pipes are, as you can see here, put away to the dispatch area, where they are, depending on the period of time, sent to the main distribution center in Sweden. Nowadays, heat pumps are the cheapest source of the heating the house. It is cheaper than heating with coal, two times cheaper than heating with gas, and four times cheaper than heating with oil. At the same time, it is the greenest way of heating.